Welcome back. So now we have the entity or the business object that we want to use to actually map the data, right? We also know how we can actually fire off an HTTP request to get the data just like we're doing in the browser. Now all we need to do is kind of use it all to instead of get this uh, joke when we click the button, we actually go and grab actual data from the real server in the cloud somewhere. So let's try and do that. Now there's a lot of things going to happen here, so you'll just have to live with me and I'll try and explain this code in details later on. Right now, let's just get it up and running. So first, to grab this guy, I wanna send a request now, right? I wanna be able to do this when I'm refreshing here. I wanna be able to send a request to the backend. Now, to do that, first step, I need to call this, meaning that I'm looking for something inside this class. And in this case, I'm looking for my new HTTP client, the guy I just put in here, dependency injected in here. That guy has a few methods. One of them is actually for me to do a GET request. Now, what would you write if you wanted to do a GET request? Well, why not just write GET? That makes sense. So I wanna do a GET request on my HTTP client right here. Now, what do, where do I wanna get this from? Now, I wanna get this from the URL called HTTPS API Jokes Chuck Norris. It's also up here. That's where I wanna get it from. So I put in that URL in here to explain where do I wanna get this, where do I wanna send this get request to, right? I wanna send it to this server right here. Sweet. When you're done actually getting this, what do I wanna do? Well, what I wanna do is I wanna to subscribe to you and listen for when you're done. So when you're done, you'll tell me using a subscription. So just like if you have a subscription on a blog or a subscription on Facebook or anywhere, you'll be informed that something has changed. And what we're doing here is we're saying, when this is done, when you, dear server, are sending a response to me, let me know inside this subscribe function right here. So what I'll do is I'll return a joke to you. And that joke, now here's something called the fat arrow notation. I'll get back to that in a second. I wanna just console lock that joke. So I'm just grabbing the console lock here and let's just console lock that joke. Um, the get joke is going to actually end up with a joke. So think of it this way. What's going to happen is the get request right here, we're going to subscribe and when we're done, we're going to pass in the information as the joke right here. So this is now actually the data that we have right here. Now that data, I'm going to just print that data as a symbol object right here. So when I save this now, we should actually be up and running. Let's have a look. My Yannick app is here. I have my get random joke here. If I click it, I'm console logging the actual information. So we actually have the information ready to use. <laughs> That's how similar it was. Now it may not, may not make sense yet because we are using something called observables here. We're subscribing to an observable right here and that it may not make sense yet, but it will later. Now, one more thing I want to do is I want to make this type safe. I want to make sure that this can actually be passed into a specific joke, just like I defined the joke right here, right? I know this class is a joke. <laughs> oh, sorry. But let's just explain to our request right here that we want to specifically end up having a joke um, business object right here. So I'll just put in the name joke right here and I'll just go and grab that joke. It needs to be a capitalized J. I'm just going to go and grab that joke by saying Alt Enter. Now we know specifically that we're getting a joke back. Now this, again, it's not something you require right away, but later on it will make sense to make your items type safe. So again, we can go now and grab the random joke. All we need to do now is try and present this in our UI, right? So let's go and grab another joke. So pressing my button in my phone app now returns a joke. Yay! That's it for this lesson. Next lesson, we'll try and actually use this information to actually present it inside our UI. Have fun.